Hello everybody, how are you today? So in this video, I want to show you how you can send a PowerPoint presentation as a link. If you have a Gmail account, then you can use your Google um, Drive to do that. Now head to your Gmail account, log in. Now come to this point where you see um, this Google Apps, click on it. You would see the drive, click on the drive. All right, so here is your Google Drive. If you have files inside of it, you will see all of it like so. So I have the file already. I can drag and dump the file onto my Google Drive and it will just upload. Or I can go to this point where it says new. Click on that new and you will see upload file. Okay, when I click on this, Okay, it takes me to my desktop and I can from this point, this dialog box, search the aspect where this file is located and then click on it to upload, then click here. Okay, let's assume this is the file that I want to upload. I will just click on that. Okay, it's here and then I'll click open, but this is not the file. I want to use the aspect of um, drag and drop. Okay, so what I would do is I have the file already, so I'll click hold, drag and dump it onto my Google Drive. Okay, so you can see here one upload complete. Right now, this is a file fitness and health. I just have to scroll down to look for that particular file uh, fitness and health. Okay, so the file isn't here, so I'll just go there and refresh my browser. So when you use that method of drag and drop, ref try to refresh your browser. So over here, I can see the file that I want to share the link with people. So now I have this onto my Google Drive. So what I would do is there are two ways you can do that. This is the file. You can go to this point, click the uh, three dots. All right, so all of this comes out, then you can go to this point and click on share, right? You can click on share. Um, if you click on copy, it will still take you to this point of share. So it's better you click on the share. Now that you are at this point, okay, um, here is a share fitness and health PowerPoint. At this box, you add the people you want to share this document with or groups, all right? Here, people with access. The only person with the access right now is uh, me, as you can see there. Now, general access, you can see that it is restricted. You should come here and I'll make it, click on that more arrow and choose this one, anyone with the link. You can see now that it is updating. Once updated, you will see it clearly, anyone with the link, okay? So anyone on the internet with the link can view the file. And you should also look at the role of the person who would have access to this link. So you click on the small arrow. Now these are the different roles depending on the person that you're sending the file to, okay? If you want anybody to view it, then it's better you leave it at viewer, okay? Or you can choose any rule there. If you choose editor, it means anybody who gets the file can edit the document. So better for you to leave it at viewer, okay? So by default, it's always at that viewer. Now we are done. You can now come here and click on copy link. Now the link is copied, okay? You can then go to your email address and send it to whoever you want to, to see your PowerPoint presentation, okay? Now one of the reasons why sharing a PowerPoint presentation is good is to avoid the email size limitations and ensure that recipients can download the file in its original format. Okay, now when you share that link and um, whoever has access to that link, I'm going to show you how it would look like. Okay, so I'll go to this point. So I, I opened a new tab. So what I did is to open an 
incognito mode okay so that link that i copied i'm going to paste it here and press enter key now in this incognito mode whoever has access to this file this is what they are going to see and they do not have access to edit the document okay they can click on any aspect okay to view any of the slides right and you can also see here it is showing clearly view only even if you come to this file okay they'll be able to download the document it doesn't matter how large this document is um, the editing aspect they can copy okay so they don't have much um, role to play here you can see all of that which is quite good and the share aspect they can't share but they can send the link to another person to to view the document they want to view the document in a slide um, show they can come to this point click on the view and click on slide show all right now the document is in slideshow and they can view it once they are done they, all they need to do is press the escape key on the keyboard and um, the slideshow mode will go off basically this is how it is done all right whether you send the link you share the link via um, social media platform this is what they are going to see they have no access to it dated depending on the role you give to the viewer I hope this video is informative. If it is, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And um, I'll see you in the next video.